This video is sponsored by Value Testers, best tool company on the web, great pricing and customer service. Contract a discount once signed up with an account. Link in description below. Good morning, guys. It's December 10th, 2019. Come here, I gotta go do um, a service on a gas fireplace. It's like an insert. I lived there a couple of years ago. I go over there and give it the old. Make sure everything's cleaned out. They used to take my compressor in there and blow around, uh, you know, where the, the pilot hood is and stuff like that. Make sure that's all clean. Check it, make sure it's working for the people. Try to get you some shots. Sometimes it's hard because of the area that they're in and people are watching, but we'll see. Try to get you some video on it. Miss Molly home today. She's playing Catch Me If You Can this morning. Wants to play. Wants me to chase her around the house, see if I can catch her. Well, I said, yeah, stay home then. She does that every so often. She she wants, yeah, she wants you to try to catch her. Oh, shit. Catch me if you can, she says. Maybe you got some Windex. I'll pop that off and we'll uh, we'll clean it. Well, it looks fine. That's cool for a little bit. Has it been running okay? Well, 
we haven't used it a lot, um, you know, so I usually leave like anything in terms of, you know, playing around with the inside or anything else to my husband, but I know he was more concerned that, you know, everything was in good order and there was no issues with it before we started trying to use it more this season. It's been some time since anyway, it seems like since the last time you came, which was years ago. Yeah, plus the glass needed clean and I cleaned the... Different things, yeah, just making sure the inside, there wasn't any issue with that or, you know, especially with gas, you know. Um, well, it's all pretty self-sealing so, so there. You got a carbon monoxide detector in the house here? Yes, we do. Do you service a lot of the gas fireplaces? Or? Some, I mean. Yeah. I kind of pick and choose what I want to do. Yeah. Well, that's ideal. Yeah, isn't it? I'd like to do that, but they don't like to pay me. So your, your husband's still doing the cadavers? Ah, uh, yes he is. That's quite the job, huh? Well, yeah, somebody's got to do it, somebody's right? Somebody's got to do it. I think those logs should be okay, right? Yeah, I kind of swept it with, with my little brush and kind of cleaned it all. Okay. So, um, see a little bit of white snow around here, but that's we can vacuum that up. Yeah, and that's just basically filled up? Yeah, it's like, you know, it's burning It's burning lean, so it's kind of give it a little white soot. I mean, if it's black, it's it's not, it's, it's a problem. Okay. But yours is white, so it's actually burning clean, right? Okay, so yeah, I don't, like I said, I'm not that familiar with it, so we'll make sure it's running good. Yeah. We don't want to look for problems. No, but we, if there are any, uh, potentially any, we just as soon. Take so now you just fire it up with this little switch on the side here, down uh, low. Yeah, down there I have this also control, which I think he put. So See if it fires up. I do have a control over here as well, which well, there's the batteries are working properly. Yeah, he's got it on on. Yeah, so he does have it on the remote. Alright, so I can I have the remote. If I put it on is. on over here, we'll see it fires okay. up. Okay, All then right. if we now you said that you want to adjust the flame down a little bit. Well I guess to see what you I'll, know, I'll show you right here that there's a dial. See this dial right here? Uh that high one low. Is, okay. Alright. Watch. So just I'm basically, gonna, I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on low. And we'll see. We'll see if it changes. That's low, right? right? And then when you turn it, it goes to high. See it? Okay. So I usually put them in the middle. Now you you like rather that. have it on low? Um, I'm gonna say go in the middle to All the right. lower so to the middle. Um, yeah. you know, for now, and then we can. That's say, low. And yeah, I'll lower just kick, to middle, uh, just yeah. a little. Yeah, just just enough. like that. That's good. I think, yeah. And I think, you know, the, I, is that, you feel like where the logs are, they seem to be okay? Or are they yeah, good? I'll move this back to remote. Okay. Okay. No, so when I have, have my to. remote here, I think you put new batteries in it, so hopefully. Let me, uh, we'll see if let me turn this out. switch off. All right, and then we'll, uh. All right, I'll take the remote here and see if that'll. I need to try it. I did put it on remote. Okay, so let me see if that'll. It's on remote there. Yeah. Alright, let's see if that'll fire it up. Okay. You have to point it. Unless. Alright, I know we put some batteries in here. Sometimes the remote is an issue. Hits. Yeah, it could be. Usually we just hit the left side of that button, the bigger button. Um, it says off. Maybe it was off. Yeah, who knows? Let's see if we've got it on or off. Right now 
now it's on remote. Oh, that's on, on, right? Let's see if, I wonder if the remote will shut it off. So I'm at 67 here. I'm going to turn it up to um, higher. See if it fires it. He did change the batteries? Yeah, he said he put new batteries in this morning. Because I said, hey, haven't, we haven't played with that or used it. So the batteries are probably no good. But he put new ones in. You think you put them in the right way? Yeah, if it lights up, I would imagine it's working. Yeah, but there's batteries in that in that remote thing too. Yeah, it might be the battery in the remote thing that's the problem. You know, it's flashing, but that mean usually if it's flashing, it could also mean that that needs a battery. So I don't know what kind of batteries they use. Yeah, it says battery low when it's flashing okay, there. You that's see it? Why that one there is got yeah, a we're flashing battery. battery low. So we'll yeah. see what we could do with that. I'll have to see what. Uh, they pull I it have out. Batteries upstairs, but yeah, I think they're um, double A's. If they're double A's, I'll get them. See if I can get it out of there. Before as well, but it's been a while. We can even get it the hell out of there. I don't know. It says four double A's. I think that's take these screws out. I've got a couple of screws loose. have some stories, huh? Oh well, yeah, over the years. Over the years. For sure. I talked to a couple of guys that did that. Good job. science. <laughs> See if I can get this thing out now. Oh shit. Oh. I gotta spin it maybe to get it out. I just don't want to come out of here. Somebody left their screwdriver on top. Oh, no kidding. That wasn't me. Oh, Jesus. Is that the, you getting a smell? Um, was I getting a smell? No. Look at that. That's oh plastic. Hey, look at that. No, not that I noticed, but. That's not mine. That's a husky. Holy I don't God. I don't have a husky thing. That I must have been, been, maybe that was your husband. Who knows? Wow, I'll have to show him that. Isn't that 
that beautiful. That's definitely different, no? I guess so. Alright, we'll get it out now. We'll get it out now. I think. Still tight. Looking tight. Is there batteries in this thing? I believe there are, because it tells you in the receiver here to put the batteries in first and then. So. I don't know. I think it's over here. Uh, putting in a changing, you have to slide the receiver to the off position. And then I think it's right to the side of the. Oh, it off. might be in the front here. Yeah, yeah right Press in the to front. open. Yeah. There we I go. believe it's there. There, we there go. it is. There we go. Without a battery, so there are no batteries in it. If the thing was lit up, there should be something in there. Oh, that's a weird open. All right, so there's another way. There you go. That's how that goes. Okay. That's it. That's original equipment right there. You want to change them? You know how to do it? You uh, want me to do it? I've got them right here. These are all new now, so we should be good. All right, the battery, the low battery thing just went out. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's try it. time for the receiver to respond to the transmitter. Do not pre press the on auto on-off buttons more than once in two seconds to correct operation. On yeah, I'll put it back together. We did yeah. what we could with it. Yeah, I'm thinking that uh, we might have to play around with the actual remote. You might have to. Might be Maybe the boss knows what to do with it. Yeah, we'll play around with that. It does come on when we... Yeah, as long as I can do it manually, at right. least to start with, I can always play with the other, if need be. So, yeah, it's on auto mode. That's why I might have to play with the modes and all that stuff. Um, if, do you need the vacuum to vacuum anything around before it all goes back together? Or... No, I need to, once I get it back in, we'll vacuum it because I blew everything, everything's on the floor here. Okay, all right. I, I blew everything that was in there out. Okay. Just a lot of like white, white soot. Mm -hmm. Nature of the beast. How often should this well, you know, every every couple of years, like you call me every couple of years, right? Uh, yeah, it's probably been more than that at this point. I usually, sometimes I forget about it. And... I got the four screws here. Right there. You see that screwdriver was something, huh? Yeah, that was weird. I don't know where that could have come from. No idea. Maybe it was original for all I know. Somebody yeah. worked on it and left it on top. So then what happened is it uh it was hot and it just melted, right? Yeah. Now there's yeah, there's a wire stick. I see it, I see it, I see it. Show him that screwdriver. Sure. That 
you know, four years. Well, we know the batteries are good because the low light's not the blinking ones anymore. Are good. So, let me so make sure this is it could be that your your receiver this, is they just have something to do with the way they couple up. You have to do it a certain, you know. Yeah, I did it. So I put them in the right way. Sequence here. Yes, I made sure the that. Initial start up. If your fireplace doesn't turn on, take out the batteries and install the receiver batteries first. We did that. Then the transmitter batteries second. Let's see what happens. I'll have to play with it. I think it's something to do with the way they, you know. Well, at least you can use a thing. Yeah, I mean. exactly. That's the main thing. Okay, when you transmit, <coughs> I think when you put in new ones, you have to be sure there's something to do with the auto mode and the manual mode and all that. So it's off right now. Excuse so I have to hit, let me see this mode over here. Let me make sure I've got, this is, on, now it's on on. So let's see if it, on off, why is it on off? Let me just hold it and see if it does. You gotta get Twitter to off. You might have to turn the temperature down. Yeah, let me figure out how this thing is. I think it's Well right now I got it on remote and that switch seems to work on and off. Okay. So right now if you shut the switch off, yeah, it'll see it go shuts on off. And off. All right. So that switch on think, remote works it. Yeah. If you go down here and turn it on on, it's going to come on. So we're going to use this rocker switch for now. All right. And that'll get it going. And that's on. All right. right. So now if I want to shut it off, I'm just going to flip the switch This now. little switch. Yep. Just flip it off for now. And if he wants to play with the remote, I mean, that's yeah, a good weekend project for him. I think we have to get him. them to couple up and do whatever. This has to be on certain settings. We'll have to play with it. <clears throat> Job. Yeah, so just cleaning the glass alone makes it look a lot better, right? Yeah, absolutely. A thousand times better. And then you could just operate it with through that switch. I mean at least at least it works. Yep. Well, it's still working. I ain't gonna change it unless it needs it. That's a major job to change that. 